Good morning and welcome to the Gear Report. I'm Carrie Lansing. And I'm Megan Frischmeyer. Today is March 5th, 2014. Today, we are going to give a restaurant review, cover the boys' substate game, give you tips for the perfect spring beach body, and answer your Twitter questions. Seb's Burgers and More is a delicious new restaurant that has just opened in Fort Dodge. Our team knows how much St. Emmons students like to grab some grub on early out days, and we definitely suggest you give Zeb's a try. Zeb's has a very fun, retro diner look and feel to it. The restaurant is exceptionally clean, and the workers are quite friendly. However, it doesn't just stop there. The food is also amazing. There are many different burgers to choose from, one being the peanut butter burger. It was a very interesting but delicious burger. Not to mention, they have great prices. Zeb's Burgers and More is a great restaurant, and we strongly suggest you give it a try whenever you get the chance. Peanut butter on a burger? Now that is just crazy. Now we will send it to Caden McClintock for SE Sports with coverage on Monday's Substate basketball game. Thanks, Carrie. The Gale boys basketball season finally came to an end on Monday night. The Substate game in the Webster City High School gym proved to be an exciting game, with many ups and downs. The Gale boys entered the game at one, as one-point favorites over the South Hamilton Hawks. Each team held numerous leads, but the game could not be decided in regulation. Robbie Burke tied the game with under three seconds left to play, sending it into overtime. However, the Gales were eventually outscored 58-53 to and sent home without a berth to the state tournament. Congratulations to both of the St. Edmund basketball teams on a fantastic season. Back to you girls. We will always be proud of our Gales, no matter what the outcome. With the weather we have had lately, we here at the Gale Report know that everyone is dying for spring and it is time to say goodbye to the snow and to the abs hello. We just want to let you know that it's never too early to start working on the six pack for beach season. There are several guys that put in those tough hours to get their bodies right where they want it for spring. You can meet these men every day in the weight room after school. Let's send it to Hank Kermis to try and find out how to get that perfect beach bod. Thanks girls. Hank Kermis here with Zach Gailey. So Zach, what have you been doing to get ready for the beach season? You know, I've been working on my flow and uh, really been hitting the weights hard. Um, also trying to slim down a bit, get my abs going. Well, that's about it. What kind of lifts do you usually do? Uh, you know, a lot of triceps. I like to keep my shirt like this. A lot of biceps, a lot of, you know, benching. Well, to slim, you said you want to slim down and get your abs going. What, what do you eat and drink? Uh, Amplified Mass, Triple X. Always keep it around in the weight room. So, drink a lot of protein? Yeah, or? a lot of, yeah, protein. Well, guess you have it here. If you want to get ripped, drink a lot of protein, do some buys and tries. Back to you, girls. They sure are looking good. Remember, if you want to be the talk of your beach or pool, get in the gym and start knocking out those crunches. I've been going to the gym a few times lately. I've been thinking about going to the gym. <laughs> <laughs> this past week at St. Edmund, we asked you, students and faculty, to send in your most curious questions to our Twitter account. In return, we have answers for you. First question was, where is Mr. Howard going next year? After speaking with our beloved principal, he told us that there are no set plans, but he is looking for a new job. One of our fellow teachers was curious about Mr. Phillipson's college life and asked what his favorite class was and why. Mr. Phillipson told us he really liked ballroom dancing because there were 25 girls and only 5 guys. Another question was how Mr. Banwart got his black eye. An inside source told us he fell on the ice and hit his eye in the process. Poor guy. Last question we had was about Miss Humblegard's tattoo. The thing is that Miss Humblegard actually has two tattoos. One on her back, which is a heart with a quote in it, and one on her foot, which is a shamrock with the quote, remember to live. Thanks for all the questions, everyone. 
I'm Megan Frischmeyer. And I'm Carrie Lansing. Thanks for tuning in to the Gale Report. Stay Catholic, St. Edmund.